Louise, we're on. We're on. You didn't tell me. We're on. I, got I my just put you on. I got my laptop up as well. I said I'm putting you on and you were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I go on. <laughs> Every time. Every single time. Every time. Mm. Caught answering a few emails. Mm. All right. How's uh, everyone? Susan, yes. Susan is saying you should extend the interview format by interviewing other famous people after all the consents. I did suggest this, didn't I? Go on then. Let, yeah. let, let it explain but, uh, it. Yeah, I think that's a yeah. really good idea, Susan. I, um, oh, am I echoey? We always have echo at the beginning, don't we? Yeah, we... I think that's a fabulous idea, Susan. I don't know who'd want to be interviewed by us, though. <laughs> <laughs> so. I think we've done a good job, considering we've never ever done it before. To be honest, don't you? I think mean, we did a really good job. Yeah, yeah we're it's, trying to, we're trying I, I to try now. Get we? used to it. But the first time I was really nervous. Yeah. But, it was um, it was it gets difficult. easier as time goes on. Yeah, you just get into the swing of things, you get you get the swing of things to chat me a bit nearer on you. There we go. Yeah, we get to chat and you can understand where they're coming from. And the trick is I think is being able to think and listen at the same time. Yeah. And being a bloke, I can't think and listen at the same time. I can only do one at a time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, all right hello everybody how is everybody today it's going to be our last day after party oh, so a little bit a little bit sad at that we were only talking about this a little bit earlier saying how much we enjoy the informal chat and asking you questions rather than you asking us questions mm -hmm. Ah, uh, dear, dear. My day job doesn't work out. I think I'll have more chance with the day job than the BBC, to be I honest. I think you'd be really good on the telly. You really, really think yeah. so? Well, of course, I have been on the television, Louise. You do forget. Oh, <laughs> yeah. There was your, uh, your five minutes of fame. My well, five minutes It wasn't of, actually quite five it minutes. Was it was about three minutes of fame for about six hours filming. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was a great, it was a great final. Um, which camera are we going on? Uh, that camera there. There we go. It was a great final. Um, uh, so, yeah, okay, final. We uh, had our competition. Andrew the weatherman. Thanks, Susan. <laughs> Susan, man. <laughs> I mean, we have a bit of a draft coming in from the west. No. Okay, that won't work. So, um... Let's take my phone down there. Uh, what was I going to say? Yes, competition. Competition closed yesterday at 8 p.m. just before the uh, show started. And we did have a lot of entries, didn't we, Louise? We How did. many entries did we have, Louise? I will tell you. I should have had this at my fingertips, shouldn't I? But um, one minute. Let's make you a, bit, a little bit wider. Don't make me wider. Not make you, not physically make Good you wider. Lord, don't make me wider, <laughs> please. <laughs> um, you want to know how many? Yes, how many? Oh, 300, 300 So we had 300, 300, 300 people, which was absolutely brilliant. Yeah, I do know that. And, and we also could work out, we could also have a pie chart on out of those 300 plus entries, how many people voted for Hugo, Dan and Tamara. Now this was interesting, wasn't it? Yeah. Are you able to give us those percentages? Louise? I can actually. Can you really? I have it right here. Would you, you like me to? Um... Can I? Am I allowed to put it on the screen on Ooh, this one? Oh, let me just make sure I don't get no, the. I won't yes, do... I just didn't want to get any yeah, personal okay. details. Okay, okay, so we can computer. put it on the screen. Yes, you can now. So this was really interesting, wasn't it? Not cut. What am I cutting to, Louise? Here, I'm, I'm all over the place, Louise. Um, am I in there? Shall yes. I? Shall I? Okay, can you so. Ooh, yes, so the majority of people thought Tamara was going to win. 38% mm. of you thought Tamara was going to win. Wow. 38% um, of you thought Hugo was going to win. Mm -hmm. And 30% of you thought that Dan was going to win. So it was really close, wasn't it, in terms of what... Yeah. But it was close anyway. It was... I think it was going to be, wasn't it? That's the reason why they were there. Yeah, of course. At the final, yeah. weren't they? So it was really good. Yeah, we all sort of had our, um, you know, my little favourite as the times goes on. See who is, uh, I can, why am I on dipping here? Or how we did have our favourites, but then I think as time went on, um, those favourites changed. I think from one week to the other, one week, you know, mm. Hugo within the first programme did that bangle, got it completely wrong. 
didn't he? It was perfect. It was just too oh, small. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But that's was, but not, not much point saying that. It was that. all right for somebody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah, totally I'm agree. still waiting for mine as well. My star You've been waiting a long time. You, <laughs> <laughs> so at the end of the day, it didn't fit the brief, and that was a complete disaster. Really, it wasn't. It wasn't anywhere near. It wasn't like a little bit out. It was a lot out. And then as time went on, then you know Tamara with her bangles and her loop and loop chain, how that changed. You know, Sunny's disaster as well. Um, and it just from one week to the other, it all changed, didn't it? Someone's favourite was good one week yeah. and then so forth. <clears throat> yeah, it was good, mm. wasn't it? Who did yeah. you want to win? Oh, who knows? Or, or. Should, ask, <laughs> should ask me that before. Don't put me on the spot. I don't know. I think in terms of personal taste, mm. I do love Sunny's jewellery. Yes. But I just love the fusion of the whole, like say, Renaissance yeah. style. But it's mm. just brought up to date and modernised. And that's what I, that's, Mm. Probably, if I had to pick mm. jewellery to wear, that's what I would gravitate yes. towards. Yes, and he does mm. a lot now in 18 carat and gorgeous, gorgeous yeah. gemstones. And do you know what? Well. I don't generally like yellow gold, but I just really love. Mm. But then, you know, Lee as well. Yeah, with his with little... his pearls that he does now, and oh you know, gosh, outside yeah. of the show. Yes. I just love all of that too. So, yeah. this, you know, the pearls, and he does the volcanic silver. So that's. Yes, they're like lava rocks, yeah. moon rocks. So that, yeah, mm. so. Um, yeah, it, I think it's a good one, isn't it? Yeah, I, th I think Sunny, and I'd have to say Lee as well because he does do a lot of silver that I that I really love. Mm, so yeah. Uh, so I hope you. So who who who, 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 who me? I'm going to put the spot back on okay. you now. I I like Dan. Yeah. I liked his pieces. I felt at the beginning it was very difficult for him to develop a star because I think I mentioned it on one of the interviews. If you're making jewelry for a shop which I think primarily that's what he does, mm -hmm. he has to make it to the shop style or to the customer style. Yeah. He can't impart his own style onto it. So I think it's taken him, you know, like four episodes to actually develop a style. And there was a mixture of two styles. There was the angular uh, B and the octagons, not octagons, whatever they are, the, the beehive shapes, and then the swirls. I think he was torn between going quite angular and quite swirly. But I'm glad he went with the swirls because I think those lent themselves to those gorgeous sleepers that he did. Def he's got that motif, hasn't he? It's just... Is he? Yeah, he's got the swirly the motif ah, has, okay. has been consistent, hasn't it, in his designs. Because okay. it was in the engagement ring, it was in yes, the earrings. Yeah. We saw it last night again. Mm. Mm. And, yeah. That's really good. I really like that because Sean Lean uses a lot of the same motifs in his designs yes. as well, doesn't he? Which yeah. mm, Very mm, good. Yeah. Mm, but I did, I did like it. I love, I love them all. Um, I love how Tamara came back from, yes. from the party, from from or from the brink. Um, oh, don't forget, Tamara's uh, interview is going up uh, live Friday at six pm. I did put a link right at the start of the chat, so check that out at the start of the chat. Um, Pastor Louise can copy and paste that further on down as we go. Um, but Sunny's interview was on at five o'clock today and I thought Sunny's interview was really inspiring. I loved it. I loved the way he talked. I loved the way he expressed himself. I loved his such, um, it's speaking from what sounds like years and years of experience, but he's only been doing it for the last five years. Mm. And I think that's because he he is a member of At The Bench. <laughs> obviously, <laughs> obviously. So there we go. So yes, yes. I know what you've got to take the <laughs> Sonny, a member of At The Bench. Good boy, good boy. Obviously gets him somewhere, doesn't it? So very good indeed. Yeah, excellent. Um, somebody said in the chat. Yeah. Do you guys think that, did you agree with, mm. somebody said, Dan, uh, sorry, um, Hugo's designs last night were exceptional, which I do agree with. Oh yeah, the, the, the pearl the was absolutely. Uh, um, do you know, my computer's being really Oh, Mrs. Lloyd, Mrs. Lloyd's playing with your buttons. And did you see Mrs. Lloyd made an appearance last night on all the glitters? <laughs> Did you see it? Mrs. Lloyd made an appearance because what happened, what happened to Dan? His visor fell off and that's exactly what happens to me. So she's, she's, a, she's a bit, a bit of a tinker, isn't she? She went, she went, oh, I'll go to the all no, the glitters. Is my mic off? No. Is your mic off? Yes, it's not no. working. Oh, something, no, oh. I got. You want full? I'm on one bar, but 
Oh, you want one back? Okay, let's chest swap the other. Sorry. We do you guys see me? No, they, no, you can't because I'm about taking the batteries out now. <laughs> pop, pop those on. And we shall see. See, not prepared again, Andrew. Really? <laughs> How's that? Oh, <laughs> come on. Come on. Ah, there they are. Wrong one. Wrong back. Wrong, okay. No, wrong batteries. Can you release. Hear me now? I've got two bars on this. You have you? Yep, okay, yep, so yep, those yep. are to go in there. Sorry, guys. Mm. All right. Um. Dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. Okay, can you guys hear me now? No, it won't be able to because they're not on here. Now. Okay, yes, can you hear me now? Yes, yes, yes. There you great. Go. Fabulous. Thank you, Romy. Brilliant. All right. Okay. Um, oh, yes, I did, I did love Hugo's designs, particularly yes. last night. The pearls were really the good. Mm. Um, should we go through bit by bit? Should we yes, go through the slides? Let me... We, uh, they're on the right hand side of your desktop, ATG final. Got them. Got them. Good, good, good. Are we good. starting with the earrings, yeah? We're starting with the earrings, number one. Number one, Hugo's Mountain Snowdrops. May we have our first slide, please, yes, Louise? Yes, certainly. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. Can you do full screen on that? So... <laughs> <laughs> okay, full screen. Um... Anyway, yeah, there yeah, we go. Right, cool, Hugo's cool, cool. Mountain Snowdrops. So, um, what do we, th what did we all think of these? Yeah, I agree, Fiona. They, they were Absolutely stunning. beautiful. They were really, really good, weren't they? Was there a, a post? I think there. We didn't there, spot a post. I think there, there, there would have been a post going through. Yeah, but they're very good. I mm. loved it. Um, Gorgeous pink pearls. They were the cognac diamonds in as well. Mm. I think perhaps I would have preferred to see the diamonds set within the gold as opposed to on the edges like that. Perhaps I didn't quite understand the relevance of, the, of a straight bar with the stones. Um, but they were really, really good though, mm -hmm. I must admit. Yeah, love them. Can't really fault them. I think they did fault the fact that the ear wire wasn't long enough, I think, on the back. Was that, or was that Tamara's? Um, I, I think they was. said... They, yeah, but yeah, because it was it was that was counterbalanced with the the, the moving pearl, wasn't it? The yeah. dangling pearl, and it sort of dangled forward, and they thought they yeah, moving, yeah, a little bit too ornate. Yeah, they were ornate. I did love the 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 cups he did for mm. the uh, for the pearls, and those were like the fingers coming down, the textures, everything was it was good. They were really good. Couldn't really fault them at all. Absolutely brilliant. What did everybody think about those? Romy loved them. Good. Dana said, stunning Good. little too ornate for my style. Yeah. Um, stunning, lovely colour pearl. Yes. You can see the pearl all the way around. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. So I just think they were perfectly framed. They were. Mm. Really good, I must admit they were Excellent. good. Excellent, love them, but the bottom part bothers me for some reason, maybe too angular. Hmm. Would you have preferred them without the... Without the bottom, yeah. Without without that point. bit, yeah. Without that Masia, bit going down, maybe. Hmm. Interesting. Perhaps. Yeah. But this, I suppose, I suppose the one half echoed the other half. Good match perhaps. for the hairdress. <coughs> yeah. Hmm. Very nice. Yeah. Good. Good. Uh, Lovely. Pointy. pointy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Get pointy. Mm. Uh, would it be nice if they could have been in perhaps in white gold to echo perhaps? Icicles the and the snow, something like that would have been mm. great, would have been nice. Um, but yeah, I did like them. I thought they were really, really good. Cool. Um, maybe have the next slide, please. So they were quite unusual. Yeah. Love the cups, not sure about the triangular points. Yeah. yeah. Sharon, congratulations. Hmm. So everyone's on, and we yeah. haven't announced the winners, have we? That's but, okay. Yeah, but people seem to be announcing them. <laughs> oh, yay. Okay. Should we say the, should we say the should winners? We? Yeah, it might be Go a on. good time to. Right. Yeah. So, so, We're so, not usually this organised. We normally announce the winners and then sort it all out. Afterwards. Days, like, so, yeah. so if you've been following the chat, we, we do have three winners, of, um, and they are two of them are actually on the chat at the moment, and um, they have been talking which is great. Thank you very much, Deborah. Thank you very much, Sharon, for doing all that. Um, so Sharon, uh, Sharon Finnegan is a member now of At The Bench. She has yes. a one a year's membership. Well done, Congratulations, Sharon. Sharon, for guessing Hugo. Uh, no, 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 it's perfectly fine. It's just we're disorganised. No. Well, we're disorganised. We're generally disorganised, but we're just... 
For once or- in our lives, we are organised. We are organised and slightly <laughs> ahead of ourselves. So don't worry, Sharon. No, that's, don't say sorry. It's, it's, that's yeah. absolutely fine. And yeah. also, also Deborah as well. Deborah's on. Congratulations. You're now a member of At The yep, Bench. Yep, Deborah Fox. Well done, Deborah. I think you Deborah. were a free view. Now you're a paid member. Yep. For a year. Congratulations. And then we Yay. also have also. one more winner. Who is? Do you remember? Yes, I do. Because the surname is my auntie's surname. Ah. Yeah. And the winner is Ruta Watts. That's my job. Oh, so, well, you asked me I who the winner, the winner was. I didn't. I said, oh, do you remember? Oh, I'm, sorry, I do remember. Who was, who was the winner of the third winner of the third year's membership at the bench? Louise? <laughs> Hang on. It's all right. I don't need that. Um, Ruta Watts. Ru- well, I never would have guessed that. Congratulations, Ruta Watts. We've... Uh, emailed you to let you know that you're a winner as well so everyone thank you very much for entering the competition it's a shame there can only be three winners okay yes excellent good good well done guys excellent well then so let's get back to the slides (laughs) (laughs) um slide number two please okay and here we have it's very awkward to get a good picture of this one because when the slides came up on on um bbc iplayer um, they they panned up and down, so it's very hard to get a good picture of Tamara's. But those are Tamara's earrings. Um, completely unusual, weren't they? Mm, yeah. Hello, hello, Lisa. Good, good. Thank you for joining us today. Um, Paul picked the wrong horse. Do you know what? It's Soslo Paul. Oh. I always pick the wrong horse. Literally pick the wrong horse as well when it comes to the Grand National. But that's another story. But yes. We did like these as well. Mm-hmm. We loved the little addition of the one or two stones in the dropper part. Yeah. Um, yes, Fiona, my sentiments exactly. When she was drilling that close to the edge, I thought, oh my gosh, what's going to happen here? Something's going to happen. Mm-hmm. But she did it. She drilled it. She drilled so close to that point. And they were, that was quite scary. And yes, they did look very I pretty on as well. I love how Sean's got to put them on. Yeah. I know not do that now. <laughs> but yeah, other the way that Sean picked picked and uh, picked them, put them in his ears. Yeah. And lovely. Got a lovely swing about them. Got a lovely got a lovely weight about them. Nice. But they were good. Uh, what else can we say about them? They just were really baroque pearls yeah. and the addition. I think Tamara said she wasn't they weren't as detailed as what she wanted, I think she said. Um but I thought they were, they were they were great. The twisted wire. Look and... prettier on Sean than on the stand. Yeah, <laughs> <great>. <laughs> yes. Yes, Paul, I have my, my left ear pierced. Yes. Um, so, <laughs> so there we go. So that was Tamara's. I thought they were good as well. We love them. Very dainty. Very, very in the typical Tamara style. I love the bit of a twisted wire truncated just with the stem. She melted a little bit then. But yeah, it was really, really good. They were really good. Um, should we have the next slide? Slide number three, please, Louise. Okay. In position. Good, good, good. And these, these were, they look really, really weird by there, don't they? They don't look quite balanced, but. I think one's, t- the one's, one on the, one's on the, on the right on is, is just twisted in slightly. Yeah, it, yeah, but they were brilliant as well. They were gorgeous. Uh, again, Dan's typical swirls coming around. Uh, the fact that he, he set the diamonds in as well. He did the little setting, little grain settings up the, up the half of it and then did texture. Why didn't he do of the more? Why didn't he do all the diamonds? Were they only allowed an extra 12 stones, I think, wasn't it? Uh, oh, I don't know. Mm, I think perhaps it, it was time as well, though. Perhaps it could have been, yes. Susan's asking what are the gram limits for the earrings? Gram? The gram I limits. I can't remember how much they had. Was it, tw- was it 12 grams? Point? Was it 12 grams and they had that? I think it was 12 grams because I thought that's a heavy for six grams each for the earrings, mm. if I can remember. Uh, Fiona's asking how did the bottom pearls stay put? Just simply with, um, with just a peg. Mm. So we've got the, the, the swirl coming around like that and that does that and that goes up there. So this was can't remember how that goes to something like that and all there is there's a little uh, little wire that they've soldered onto that bottom section that the pearl then will sit on and they did mention the pearls were half drilled 
Um, just that's as simple as that. And there are various ways that you can get that pearl to stay on in addition to um, gluing it. Uh, you have um, a rectangular piece of metal and then you give, yeah. it a, give, it a, give it a twist. Donna think, didn't Donna use a bit of super glue too? Because I thought you had to use like an epoxy glue I didn't glue like on. the idea. They said super glue. Yeah. How long does super glue take to dry? Great, we use that. I thought they shouldn't have used super glue. I can't even glue anything without gluing my fingers <laughs> together. So yeah, that's... Yeah, I think, there is, there, I think there is special pearl cement that they should have used. Mm. Um, but yeah, you can, you can get a piece of rectangular section wire, twist it, and then glue the pearl on. And because the glue is in the hole, it'll provide a better uh, contact on the twist. Or what is usually done on the high-end jewellery, you've got the post, yeah, where the pearl sits on, and you actually put a split... Okay, you put a split. Oh, Mickey says I think he put a small round cap for the pearl to sit on. Oh, did he? Yeah, perhaps he did. I mm. didn't see. I didn't notice. Otherwise, what you would do, you would do that. You would put a little fine wedge in the split post and the pearl goes on top. And as the pearl gets pushed in, the wedge comes down and these open out inside the pearl to hold it in place. And you'll never get that off. Old school, pearl would never come off. This is this. Mainstream. Okay, there we go. That's how you put a pearl on. Um, put a small cap. Did you see him put a cap on? Didn't notice. <clears throat> no, no, didn't, didn't notice. notice. <clears throat> so those are the earrings. Super glue is not good gaffer. No, I thought super glue was a bit naughty. I think they should have said pearl cement. It's risky, isn't it? And just, you know, it's, yeah. Because epoxy resin doesn't take that long to go off. You get five minute so. epoxy resin. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Dan's design was so many individual pieces. They were, weren't they? They were really, really good. Dan asked how long Super Glue would take to set, but he seemed to be make, mixing a multi-part. Perhaps he was, yeah. Mm. I'm not sure if I remember right, but it looked like two component glue when he used it. Yeah, oh, he yeah. got like a pack, didn't he? He got the pack and he opened up the pack. Perhaps he was just joking about the Super Glue then. Perhaps. Mm. He said, uh, Paul says it was Aldite. Aldite, yeah. Super Glue takes 90 seconds. You can get mm. five minute Aldite and that would have been long enough it would have stayed on, wouldn't it? Yeah. Within that, that period of time. Mm. Cool. So that was really good. Basically, Tamara had to drill into her pearl, risking it, but the other had pearls that were pre-drilled. Yeah, but then again, that was her choice to drill it, wasn't it? Mm. That was her choice to drill them. The others could have drilled them in other ways if they wanted to. Usually, pearls come half-drilled anyway, and that's would be very hard for her to say, well, I want these Baroque pearls and I want the holes here, because they wouldn't come that way. Yeah. But the other pearls were supplied that way, weren't they? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Yep, okay. Should we talk about the Mantica? Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the Manticas, Louise. Oh, next slide, please, Louise. It'll be up already. I'm wow. on it, yeah. Wow, 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 wow. Now, this, this was good. I loved this. I thought, as soon as I saw this, I thought this was a winner um, straight away. I thought it was spot on. Uh, the one thing that, uh, that threw me was the the diamonds east and west were off were they off were they not actually or were they slightly higher mm. i can't i can't see on my i can't here, see on it? my screen i mean there might be like a millimeter in it the left hand one look, the he, left hand one looks out the left hand one looks higher doesn't it only very much or is it just me no can't see can't see. Um, Did you see his face though when she picked it? Yeah. I thought he was going to cry. <laughs> so lovely. So cute. Yeah. But they didn't pick up on the fact that the pendant didn't match his idea, his drawing, because the Christ is the Christ of praise. He chipped when he was bezel uh, setting it. Was a it. Rutilated, rutilated quartz. quartz. Sorry, yeah. yeah, rutilated quartz, which was just a real, real shame. Oh, we watched that through our fingers, didn't I we? I know. You know. Obviously, they built it up, didn't they? It was they? the music, <laughs> wasn't it? It's like they, something's going to go wrong. So yeah, he slipped. Um, perhaps his burnisher, perhaps his pusher mm. was not uh, was too polished and not rough enough. So that's why he slipped. Um, but even when it came on the screen, I thought those east and west diamonds didn't look. But then that's just me. But what an amazing comeback from what could have been disaster. Yeah, he's mm. just been really mm. improvised and come up with something which is really beautiful. And as soon as she came mm. in, yeah, I you, said you to could, you. That matches your earring, so she's going to go for You that. could see it, couldn't you? Mm. You, you, you can see that on, on someone's forehead. It's, it's, got the, it's got the depth. 
Um, the pill came down, perhaps, perhaps for me, a bit too low, perhaps it should have been a bit higher up, came down past no, 10 it was just, is it, by there? Yeah, okay. it, it, but was, no, just, it was good. It, but as you bar, say, the, the, um, the cap was very similar to the cap on the earrings, wasn't it, as yeah. well? So it was very similar. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I loved it. I thought it was a brilliant, brilliant job. Nothing, nothing to dislike about that, actually. Lovely. I thought that was very really good. Beautiful. Really yeah. good. And I like the fact that they did have time to make up the rest of the chain as well that went with it, because otherwise that would have been too much, wouldn't it? Yeah. Especially on, on Tamara's and Dan's as well. So Louise, may we have our next slide, mm, please? Yes. Paul is saying that's probably the reason he went. Beyond his skill adaptability in a crisis. Mm. But yeah, yeah. he's... Um, did very good there. Okay. Next slide. Here we go. So this one. I couldn't get a very good picture of this one either, but that's. I, I, but then I thought that was very very good as well, but yeah. a little bit too open perhaps. Um, wouldn't have been from a distance. You wouldn't have really seen it upon the lady's forehead perhaps. I don't know. But I again, think that, you would have yeah. Seen, yeah, you would see it. Mm. Mm. But still, very, very good. I love the fact that he had the chains going around and all those were soldered as well. Mm -hmm. So that was amazing, all the solder joints on that. I thought that was absolutely amazing. So we loved that. And again, yes, he set those diamonds as well. Yes. Which I thought, again, a brilliant job. And I just love the way he gets those swirls and then, then files them to the knife edge as well. Mm -hmm. I thought that was really good. Really good, and the swirls is you know, is, is stars coming through on that. Yeah, they never mentioned style with Hugo. Was that a Hugo style? I don't know. Did he have a style throughout the whole show? Hmm, um, hmm. tell me, everybody, did Hugo have a style? They picked up a style, they wanted to see Dan's style, they wanted to see styles from everybody. But was Hugo, did Hugo have a style? I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. See, interesting. Yeah, we haven't. No one's really touched on that. Okay, back to this. Loved it. Yeah. Um. Did you saw you hand steam? I was not pissed. Okay, so we have because the, the lady said yeah. she wanted glitz and sparkle and yes, didn't she? And I don't know if if the jewellers knew that or whether that was just a conversation that she had with Catherine. Mm. Yes. They, had, mm. they said they had a mood board, didn't they? So, yeah, yeah it's very good, though. Mm. I wonder yeah. uh, if you had a chance to try them on off camera to see what they looked like. Don't know, perhaps they did. Hugo's diverse style. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yep. pulled about a pint. Oh, yeah, a steamer, yeah, not, not, not a wine glass. Well, that'd be your wine glass, wouldn't it, really, Louise? Cheeky. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they said Hugo Star was classical. Yeah, I think that's probably a good uh, way to describe it, actually, much. But then that has a... Oh, sorry, you know, um, scrap. scrap. Um, Tom. Sorry, I've forgotten your name. Tom. Yeah, no, that's not Tom. Tom? No. Scrap of engineering? No. Oh, Mike? No. Oh, heck. Right. Martin. Martin? Yeah. Yes. Martin? Hugo loved tech. He did love his birth for texturing. Yes, he did, Dana. Yeah. Yes. Well, Last one. Next one oh. to go. Slide, slide number four, please. Um, six, please. <laughs> Bill, who's Bill? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, let's go. Is it Martine? Oh. Martine. I think that's how you, how you pronounce it. Traditional. Yeah, Bonnie, I'd agree with that. Traditional Hugo style is... It, that encompasses so much, though, isn't it? Mm. There's no... If you can't turn around and go, that is, that's Dan's. You can see Dan's with the swirls. That's Hugo. Hugo's is it? I don't know. He didn't seem to have a theme that followed through. I'm not having a go in any way, but everybody was talking about style and I didn't hear them mention anything to do with style. Don't give me the diapers, Louise. <laughs> okay, so moving on. This again, is tomorrow's I Mother of Pearl. Couldn't get right, another okay. good picture of this, unfortunately, because again, they were panning down it. But again, nice, simple. I love the way the fact she got the meaning of the Mother of Pearl. Thought that was really good. 
Um, she cut it as well, which I thought was really brave of her. She did take a lot of risks, didn't she, as well, with a lot of the, the things that she did. Mm -hmm. I was surprised that that sapphire kept its luster and everything else. If she did the melting around the outside edge, yeah. I thought that was amazing how that stood the test of heat. Um, and also her little twisted wires with the pearls on as well, going up from the top and over the the edge because you can't see that on the picture but again I thought that was really really good as well loved how she set the bottom stone yeah it was very similar to, to the way she set the diamond wasn't it the one Same carat diamond technique, yeah. yes where do you learn about the melting technique I think you just got to do it yourself haven't you just maybe not with a one carat <laughs> diamond <laughs> use you can use um you know, Louise is actually, Louise is modelling something today. And again, these are the things we did on At The Bench. Uh, so can we zoom in on this one? There we go. So these we did on At The Bench a few weeks ago. Have to go up a little bit more, Louise. Go up a bit, Louise, up a bit. But me? Yeah, you. Yeah, there. So there we go. So those were some little pendants we did on At The Bench. Not the same way as, as Tamara's, but we melted silver and pushed the molten silver. Thank you, Louise. You may sit down. Huh? Thank you very much. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I think it's just trial and error. Uh, isn't Mother of Pearl um, dust poison, is it, really? Is it? Ooh, that'd be interesting. Mm. But yes, Susan, yes, you're right there. It is trial and error. What I've got here, I've got some um, old um, sapphires that we've taken out of some scrap rings and some rubies, and we're experimenting with these because sapphires and rubies, you can do that technique with can't do it on any other stone, can you, Louise? You want to make sure they're not glass filled, though. Or fracture filled or anything filled mm. at all. And if they are, it just fits in half thing. like that one did there. What, the, this one or that one? The ruby split in half, didn't it? Where's the other half? You took it out. No, it's round here somewhere. I thought oh. it was a bit of borax. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever used silly putty to mask gemstones from getting scratched? Good idea. I think she pushed herself past her comfort zone, took risks. She did, yes. Always cut mother pearl under water. Yeah, perhaps mm. that might be something to, to, to say. Very good. I thought it was very good though. Let's have yes. another look. Yeah, the 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 the, the, the ruby, the ruby, the sapphire as well. Quite a pale sapphire, wasn't it? Was very it? pale, yeah. So I wasn't sure. I think she took an awful well, a very daring chance of heating that sapphire up. Because I know sapphires can take the heat, but can white sapphires take the heat? I don't know. Or light blue sapphires, we don't know. But very good. I thought all in all, um, the brilliant, brilliant show. I thought yesterday's show was absolutely fantastic. Um, and I loved it how all the contestants, all the jewelers were there at the end as well. Congratulations to them. I thought that was lovely as well, wasn't it? Mm, that was really it was lovely. It was great. So all in all, Louise, did you enjoy the series? I did, yeah. I enjoyed it more towards the end. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, but yeah, I definitely look forward to the next series. Yeah, I think it started off a little bit, is this going to work? Because it was never done before. Everyone took a chance doing it. It could have bombed and could have been the worst thing ever. Mm -hmm. um, I think everyone took a chance doing it and I think it paid off. Yeah. I think it was very good. Um, again, all down to the editing. I think it was obviously edited for TV. Oh. Um, in some cases. Um, yeah, Magic can't wait for another season as well. I think they are already asking for the contestants for the next series, which is great. Yeah. Um, it's nice to see the smiles from the judges. Yes, yes. I think they really relaxed, didn't they? Definitely. In the last three, I think the first one, they were a little bit nervous because obviously they're not celebrities in that respect, television celebrities, they're celebrities in their own right, mm. but when it comes to, to a camera and film and so forth, it must be very nervous for them as well. Yeah, it's probably a different world, isn't it? To yeah. What you're used to, so, mm. you know, you've got you've to take that into consideration as well. Totally. But yeah, brilliant. I mean, I've always been a, a, a fan of Sean Lean, but oh, I think yeah. I just love him even more now after this. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they had time, yeah. They had time to produce the uh, the, the change in this uh, change in this case, yeah. A home challenge, making a classic piece of jewelry from history, like just like the forged in fire does. Yeah, perhaps they may change it for the next next series. We don't know, do we? I read the comments. Somebody said, "Oh wow, that's how it's made." 
uh, big shame that there wasn't a substantial prize. Unfortunately, Jacqueline, but as it was the BBC, um, they couldn't give any sort of monetary prize because it's taxpayers' money. So that's the reason why they couldn't do that. Uh, I wonder if the quarantine break helped. Yeah, they stopped for a couple of months mm. and they had to then come back once things had calmed down a little bit. Yeah, because Sunny, did you keep that in the interview before I talk about it? The, <laughs> <laughs> um, the, 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 the coronavirus I, yes, I the think pandemic I did, yeah. started kind of like in the middle of it. So by the time the filming resumed, mm. everything had been put in perspective because everybody's lives had just been completely... Mm disrupted and we were all going through this horrible experience so yeah I suppose after that yeah at the beginning it they does were... make you chill out about a lot of other things I think it, it does so, I'm mm. not quite sure whether I left it in there but but somebody was saying before, before it was, oh, we're on television we're on television and mm. then when they came back they're going this is just television there's worse things happening yeah they're, they're happening out, what's out. happening all around pe- pe- yeah yeah but yeah. yeah so I think that definitely the pandemic um, helped relax affected it, it yeah Totally. Mm. Wow. And did they get to keep what they made? No. I can, I can say that because no, they're, the pieces are the property of the BBC um, and also everything in that room that they produced is the property of the BBC. So even the sketchbooks are the property of the BBC. Wow. They couldn't take the sketchbooks home. They had to leave. They had to obviously leave them there because it's not theirs, the designs aren't theirs, the designs are the BBC's, so everything is that. But they can obviously reproduce things very similar in their own workshops afterwards, totally, yes. Yeah. Something for the next 12 hour. What's this? Great prize, something like being introduced into a celebrity and having a chance to make and sell a piece to them. Did the bestowed clients have to pay for their pieces? I don't think they did, but then again, perhaps they did. Perhaps they could have come along and said, we, we want a nice three-carat diamond in our Mandika. But mm. would that have happened? I don't know. Did they get paid? Um, the contestants didn't get paid, no. They just did it for the, for this, I suppose, for the exposure, isn't it, really? Mm, for the fun and the love. And also for the taking part and doing yeah. what they love. Yeah. Totally, yes. Um, anything else going on, Louise, in that, um, in that chat that's happening here? I don't think so. <coughs> Um, Let's see, Romy's saying, loved how uh, Tamara was searching for her gold. My partner and I spent ages looking for a gold ball I dropped. Yeah, we've looked for stones, haven't we, and various other yeah. things. Yeah. Mm. When and they I'll... escape your tongs and ping off. And... But, but this is it. We, we never use uh, ear defenders because I think, I think having your hearing whilst you're working is so important. You can hear the metal. You can hear if you've hammered it flat because it has a different tone to it. And having ear offenders, you can't really hear what's happening. You can't really hear what's happening with the metal, and especially if, if it pings off. Um, Paul, open the ticket if there's a problem with that. The bench form, not that I'm aware of. Um, so yeah, you can hear things. If something pings off, drops to the floor. If you don't have your ear defenders, you know roughly where it's falling. Mm. If you have your ear defenders, it could be anywhere, couldn't it? Yeah. Absolutely. We were looking for an opal, weren't we? Was it yesterday or the day before? <laughs> Everywhere. For the life. Um, yes. On Monday. Um, yep. So yeah, it was like an opal. Triplet, I think and I was looking everywhere. We were looking all over the floor. We were looking under the... Under the desk. Under the desk. We were looking in the bin. We were looking... Oh, it's happening again. Oh my goodness. No, 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 no. Mr. Slide again. Do apologise. Um, and where was it? It was within the um, the leverage gauge. Yeah, I was measuring it, and then um, I left it in the in the gauge. In the gauge, the and I put the gauge, gauge away. <laughs> <laughs> you, you gave the gauge down to me, and I went downstairs. So I'm just looking. No, the forum's fine. Uh, da, 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 da. No, the forum. Thing will be interesting to see fine, six Paul. months down the road how their lives were changed by being on the show. Exactly, we know how that goes. Yeah, I think we we've, we've won as well, haven't we? Because we, Lee came here to, for us to interview and we met yeah. him. So, yeah, we kept him. So we kept so him. <laughs> we, he's gone home. We definitely just kept him. He's not in the basement. We do, let, we do let him go back to his family at the end of the day. Yeah. So, yes. Yeah, so, yeah. we, so, so we've benefited from, from, from that because, because is it, is, yeah, Lee's with us. Yeah. And, um, and he's benefited because he's learning from us as well. So yeah. it's a bit oh, of a yeah. bit of, bit of win win there. 
Um, what I've learned from the show was how to really make sure to find my own style. Yeah, I, I don't have a style. I've been thinking about this. What is my style? I don't have a style myself because I don't make jewellery for myself, do I? I make jewellery for other people. People to learn, yeah. yeah. What would you make for yourself? What would I make for myself? I don't know. I do like, I do like my bracelet that you bought me. I do. do. I do like that. This is, this you is do a, like your... Um, this is a bracelet that Louise work. bought me, you see. This is a nice bracelet. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a gorgeous little bracelet with um, two lovely leopards there. Um, but yeah, I love that. I love the scroll work in that. I really love that. Um, Lee's really lovely. What did Dan say? Long. Louise is saying, my friend says on Bake Off, you have to pay for all the ingredients until the semi-final. Well, that's all well and good, but I'd want to eat all the cake. If that was the case, <laughs> I'd want to taste yeah. it. No, be slapping it out of their hang hands. On, I don't hang think on, so. It's a Paul. <laughs> well, not obviously, but yeah, Paul and Mary Berry. Yeah. Um, get free these. Yeah. <laughs> Can have some of your cake. Get free No. <laughs> cake killer. No. Come on. I don't think it would be fair. Yes, it is. If it is Romy, yes, it is my car No, no it's Gucci. Not. Sorry, it's my Gucci bracer. <laughs> Um, yeah, Paul, I'm still trying to I'll find my you voice. <laughs> <laughs> um, get down to the floor, look parallel to the floor to find the stuff. Yeah. What would you make for yourself if you could make anything for yourself? Because you are a bit gothic y in your styles mm. because we've ordered some, we, we, we've got some new stuff coming in for the shop, and you're, what Sabo. you've ordered is, yeah, is quite, yeah. I, I do, I think, quite I think perhaps I do sort of. Go towards that style. Mm. I would love to get into the nice, the nice, the parve work and, and work with something that is a bit unusual. Um, I got some skulls downstairs that I really want to work on. Um, animals. You're yeah, a rocker at heart, really, and, aren't you? <laughs> I got some animal skulls that I had in my mind for for for, for a couple of years now. Oh, uh, you're. I got mouse skulls and. Can I just say they are. Artificial skulls, they are, they are, aren't they? Yes. Thank you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, the mice ones aren't. The voles are actual voles Where and mice skulls. Oh, I don't even want to know. You can buy, you can buy the actual skulls. But, but the crow one I have is a, is a resin copy of um, a crow. That one isn't real, but the mice ones are. Mice I don't ones know are. where... But I want to. I want to. I want to do that. I want to learn how to do parve set. I want to have some coloured stones in it. You know what I mean. That sort of. That's what I do. But would I ever do it? Most probably when I retire, when I'm a ninety odd, perhaps. Um, <laughs> but you'll be going to retire before then. Maybe no, it's... no. I just wouldn't. I just. I wouldn't wear a a vowel skull. <laughs> Anything. Well, when I'm 90, especially when I'm a 90 <laughs> no, year old. <laughs> I just wouldn't, yeah. <clears throat> I do like the idea of the raven skull. I don't, don't think, I'm not sure I'd want to wear mm. something skull. It wouldn't be the real skull, would it? it would, that, so you'd cast thing. it? Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, you cast them, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but even so, you're going to get animal rights activists quite rightly saying, how did you find it? Mm -hmm. How did you come about this? Um... I bought them from a reliable source on eBay. Yeah, well, you've said it all there, haven't you, really? Let's, <laughs> let's be honest. <laughs> all right, I think that's about it for today and for the series. I don't get it. It is sad, isn't it? Can we do like sad. a slight informal chat, a little mm. informal chat. Um, you've got 10 carved skulls from Antlers. Wow, nice. Um, all right, is that it? I think so. Okay. Uh, wow. Louise. Nice. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you right there? Yeah, exactly what's happening. That's it. We've got nothing more to say. Thank you, everybody who. We have to wait for this. It's a present from my cats. Yeah. Yeah. The skulls, I think. Um, yeah. We, really we haven't yet. found the skulls that, or the actual. Bodies that Where our did cat. Did you put the bodies, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> I think he's been eating them all, but we don't want to go oh, there. Do, anyway, do you know what people are about to have their tea, Andrew? We don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> so everyone, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for joining us on this journey over the last six weeks. We've announced competition winners. We've announced. Uh, yeah, competition we did on various competitions over the last six weeks. So congratulations, all of you lovely, lovely winners who have won memberships. I think we announced 
the belt sander as well. So yes, we. Bonnie, Bonnie is asking, would it it would be cool if at the bench had a place to post our studios? Do you mean there is a show photos. should work bench? Do you mean photos? Yeah, because we do have a um a section on, a the, section forum. on the forum. Yeah, for um, I will, photos of your your, it, your setup. So if that's what you mean, then. Smash that it has. Like it has. It has. <laughs> you haven't said that for a while. No, I haven't you? actually. It <laughs> comes under in the forum. Any other business, there is your studio or workshop. Show us your workshop, workbench or studio. Want some tips on setting up your own workspace? So you can put in there your workspace. And I love. I'm a bit weird. Yes, of our workspace. Yeah. Um, in the forum. Any other business, yeah. it's in there. And I do love seeing people's workspaces, see how they work, see what, what confinements they're working with and how they're adapting their space to the way they work. I think it's absolutely wonderful. Yep. Oh, I've started a page as well on the forum for social media ideas and hints and tips because I get stuck on mm. things to post, don't I? And if yep. you've got new stock in or things are happening, then there's always things to post, but otherwise it's quite easy to get. It is. Kind of a bit stale or a bit mm. kind of lost with ideas and there's little hints and tips which, which we all pick up along the way. So I thought it'd be really good to share. Um, yeah, so there's a page. Excellent. Yes. And I was going to say something then, but I can't Sorry. remember what I was going to say. No, no, no. I, as soon as I think of something, I should write it down because I have forgotten. Uh, Steve's just asking me where's the like counters. Oh, yeah. I think the counters have gone on this particular, on the lies. We still haven't found out where these are. Um, yep, you have to go onto the forum. 10 by 8 is an upgrade shed. You can get a lot in the 10 by 8 shed, absolutely. Um, it's nice to see what other people thought. Looking forward to seeing the rest of the interviews. Yeah, we've got um, tomorrow's coming out on Friday. Um, I'll post that. We're going to have a chat with Dan. We're going to have a chat with Dan, yes, and we're still that's... waiting. On Hugo. Am I putting that on for these? I don't I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. If I, I hope I can do control and V. No, I can't because I can't that sends you to something completely top top secret, so I can't post that. What's what, what? Nothing. That's well not top secret, that's that's the test site. You can't see that. Oh, okay. Uh, we can't go back to the beginning. Can we go back to the beginning? Um we can't go back to the beginning. Right, everybody, thank you very much for joining us. I haven't got it there and I'll go back. But what we did, yes. What am I trying to say, Louise? I have no idea, Andrew. Um, join us for the premiere of tomorrow's video, Friday, mm -hmm. 6 p.m. That clashes with Gemology Rocks, so you might want to rethink that. Oh. Okay. Sorry, <laughs> you didn't consult me. I didn't, didn't. No, I didn't, no, I didn't, no, no. I'll do half past five then. Yeah, half past five. Yeah, will that be enough time? We have to be home by half past five. Yeah, yeah. Yep, I'm just thinking a lot of people do tune in to see um, Kerry. And if you don't, you should, because it's fabulous. Six mm. o'clock um, uh, for Gin and Gemstones over on Gemology Rock's Facebook page. Oh, Six o'clock on a Friday. And it's always great fun and really informative. So yeah, that, that was the clash anyway. Okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, Paul saying, get Hugo live as constraints are no longer valid. I think that they still are. They are still bound by a lot of terms and conditions um, and a contract. So it's still no chance of having a live one at the moment. But perhaps it is something that we could look into at, an, at another stage perhaps. Um, love to chat with Nicola. Yeah, the, the, all the interviews have been unique in their own way because every jeweller is different. Um, how they started, their approach to work, and each brings their own to each of the interviews. That's it. All right, that's all. I'm just looking at the chat now and I'm pausing and not really talking. And um, I don't like the sound of silence, do I? No, you certainly don't. <laughs> right then, Louise, anything else you want to say? Um, no. I don't think so. Is there a like button? Because don't forget, smash the little wasn't like it? button if you like, and don't forget. What's this? This is this is the this is the this is the this is the the, the click on the bell if you want to be notified when films go live on our. You're right there, Louisa. <laughs> What's that? I. 
I don't know what you. I don't know what what you're gesturing for me. Filing. <laughs> no, never mind. It'll keep. This is why you're not on camera. It'll keep. Really? Okay. All right, everyone. Thank you all so much for joining us from the day after parties. Hope you've enjoyed it. Bit of a chat. Um, thank you for the sixty people still on at the moment. Yes, Louise, you're smiling there. No, nothing. I'm just thinking. <laughs> <laughs> You will see uh, the rest of the interviews today. Tomorrow is on Friday, and the other Dan and Hugo's should be sometime, hopefully next week. I don't know what you're doing, Louise. Do you want to whisper in my ear? Should I turn the microphones off? Hang on. Is that what you want to talk to me no, about? No, no. Okay. Before we go, <laughs> and I don't want to get too frothy on this. If you want to go back over the final episode of All That Glitters, you will see something that only one person is using, as far as I could see, and that was an adjustable saw frame. <laughs> and who was it? It was Dan. I think Dan was using an adjustable saw frame. So when we speak to Dan, I am going to have a word with that boy and say, good on you, mate. Aren't they fantastic? <laughs> <laughs> we were big, we big Cheshire cat. Nothing wrong. All right, everyone, disappear. Go and have your teas. We're going to go and have ours, aren't we? <laughs> go and have your teas. Uh, um, yeah. yeah, he has. Yes, Romy, I have noticed, and I have resisted that urge to say anything. Well, on the chat here, nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong. Use whatever you want. There's no right or there's no wrong tool oh, to use. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I have to, I have to, you have to send him like a, like a new concept saw, I reckon. All right, we're disappearing again. Everyone take care. Thank you so much for joining us these last six weeks. You can join us again on Monday for our question and answer starting at 4 p.m. here in the UK. Don't forget, keep a look out on social media for the rest of the interviews. Tomorrow's going live Friday. I have to say half past five now. So you can yeah. watch Gemology Rocks and Gin and Gemstones after that on... Facebook, please yes. say good night. Good night. Have you enjoyed the show? I have, yeah, I really have. I'm really sad that it's um, that it's all over. Mm, absolutely. I don't know it what is. we're going to do now on a uh, Tuesday and Wednesday. We're, we're going to be home at a reasonable time. Yeah, I know, but that's boring, <laughs> isn't it? So I don't know. We'll have to think of something else. <sighs> right, everyone. <laughs> you take care. See you Monday for the question and answer. Thank you, Bonnie. Appreciate I it. I will too, Bonnie. Yeah, we love our informal chats, don't we? Come back on a Monday. Yeah, we're, here, we're here every Monday. Yeah, Bonnie, yeah, we'll see you on a Monday. Yeah. Oh. Thank you very thank much, Claire. You. Do appreciate it. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Bonnie, Juan, Steve, Claire, Susan, the mob, uh, Tom, no, oh, uh, Scrap Over Engineering, Susan. Yeah, everyone, Rowie. Sorry, can't. Yeah. Right, we're going. Take care. Okay. I'm going to fade. I'm going to fade black again so you don't have to get your slide in place. Oh, that's nice. Going to miss all the glitters. Good old job, old bean. Thank you, okie dokie. <laughs> Good job. Take care. See you Monday for the next question and answer. Fade to black. Good night, everybody. <laughs>